Hi guys, this is going to be an instructional video on how to uh, apply control without using a total station from one project to another project. So I have a project that was scanned here in my training center here. You look at the project itself, nothing fancy, just two rooms with a couple of scans, one, two, three, five scans, uh, all put together. Now, what I'm going to be assuming is that we have rotated this right, meaning it's already inheriting the correct uh, rotation of the project that we're talking about. I'm not going to be doing any cleanup. I'm just uh, going to try to inherit the same coordinate system with a new project. So uh, the prerequisite to this is we need to have some control. So I actually have some targets in the classroom over here that I've already marked. I also notice uh, that I have some targets that I didn't mark yet. So I got a couple of them over here. So in order to do that, I only just mark these. And again, the prerequisite for this to actually work successfully is at least three targets. So I'll do checker target here and another checker target over here. Hit OK. And uh, because I know I made a mistake over here, I'm also going to pick something very unique over here, like the actual uh, smoke detector over here. So we'll hit OK. Again, that's three because that's one target, second target, and a third target. Nothing else in this corner of the actual hallway. So once I have all the targets uh, identified, what I need to do is I'll, I would hit save and finish the actual project, but in order to inherit the right coordinate system with new scans, what I will do, and a new project. And what I will do is I'll actually export the identified objects. And I typically export them as a DXF um, for following reasons. Uh, I actually have a utility that allows you to convert the DXF into a um, CSV file or a comma separated text file and that is a prerequisite again for importing survey control afterwards so we'll give this a name we'll call it where are we let's go into the project and we'll call it call it control new dxf hit export before you export, please be sure that you verify what kind of units you're actually exporting. So I know I'm exporting US survey feed, which means on my import, I also need to have US survey feed uh, eventually. So I have these now finished. So I'll close, you want to save, we'll say sure. Exported objects to DXF. There we go. Now what I'll see is I'll actually look at the file that I just created. So this is the file that we just created. It's a control new DXF. Now by itself, this will not uh, be useful uh, without having a utility called a DXF to XYZ. There are many others, of course, I'm sure you can use a different application, but I'm using this application because it's relatively fast and simple to actually use. What I'll do is I'll browse to the file that I just created. So it's the control new DXF. And I'll tell it, hey, I want to convert just the points. There are no lines, no polylines, no text or anything that I want to do. So I'll just hit the OK button. Then I'll hit Save As. And typically, I want it to go to the same folder where I just saved the project into. So survey control. And I'll have it say control new XYZ, that's okay. Also, um, while you're doing this uh, in this little utility that I have running, it's not a bad idea to check out the output, but this is what I have as far as settings. So I have six decimals for my uh, accuracy and I'm exporting the ID. You hit okay. And we already did this, but I'll, I'll do this again. So I'll, I'll just resave, hit save. Now, when you do this, well, you can see that there's a new XYZ file. If I open it up with Notepad, it looks like this. So we have uh, just these points, and these happen to be any 
objects that you marked in uh, the scans in that project that you had open. So uh, another prerequisite for this will be to actually rename the XYZ to a CSV because that's what um, scene likes. So now I'll open up scene and we will start a brand new project and I will pull the data from the SD card that I have in here but I'll skip it for now. So we'll do create project, we'll call it site control after and we will just import some scans from the SD card that I have slid in here. Now mind you these scans have nothing to do with the other scans so we'll kind of do this drop them in here and I will process the scans not do any registration but I don't have any color so I will not be applying any color but I will be finding checkerboards because there are checkerboards in the scans and this registration will skip for now so I'll just hit start processing and you will see that these scans will come in arbitrarily uh, nothing to do with the actual targets that we exported but we will now export import those targets into this project and then georeference essentially these three new scans into the old project all right now the three scans are finished if we look at them they will obviously not look right but they're all over the place so that's scan number one, that's scan number two, and then there's scan number three somewhere in the middle there. And they're all placed weirdly, arbitrarily, inaccurately, right? So uh, let's just, for fun, check out the actual targets that were found. So it found these two. Did it find any others? I don't see. Oh, there's one more that we know. Is kind of irrelevant so I'll kind of delete this guy because that's definitely not a target I like to go through my targets as a, as a measure of uh, just checking that it found what it needed to see for example it didn't find that guy so we'll kind of tell it to go ahead and find that it didn't find that guy so we'll do that those two it did find what else did it find everything else looks okay and we'll do one more I do this audit Every once in a while, when I'm, well, when, when I'm doing automatic target recognition, see, it didn't find this one, but I know it's at a very steep angle, so this will probably not work. Yep, that's wrong. That's definitely not there. So the algorithm was correct. I'm not trying to actually match it. So these are correct. The only other target that we might want to mark is that smoke detector. So we'll go ahead and actually mark this as a smoke detector right here hope that it's close enough all right so that's that now if we run registration you might see that these two will actually come together but it should still fail uh, it's going to be target based based registration i'm not changing any settings here it'll say failed because when you look at it it'll probably put the two together because there was enough in between this scan and that scan but the this one the whole way is definitely lingering in the middle not actually what it should be so this shows you that this is done by itself but not accurately so how to fix it i'm going to import survey control points that we just created so here's my control new.csv hit open i'll import it to the work level or workspace because that's the whole project I'm going to explore you'll notice that there's a there's now these targets over here so if we do a uh, let's go view this in 3d you should see that there's some targets strewn like all over the place and that's just because these are the actual targets so if I go locate this is somewhere behind the wall not actually where it should be yet because we didn't run registration yet so let's do this notice the target names obviously checkerboards and then checkerboards and then checkerboards and once we hit registration when we actually rerun this same registration as we did before so we'll start our automatic registration target based hit register and verify if your targets were 
where they should be. It's now going to inherit the actual position of these targets. And we can see a report that was about yeah, maximum 6.5 or 6.9 millimeters. Not horrible. Again, not ideal conditions here. But you see that now the targets are actually renamed to what we brought in. Meaning if I view my project now and you look at it from top down, it's now inheriting the actual positions of these targets. So now this target that was in the middle of the wall is actually one of the ones that was in the hallway. There should be a, there's another one over here. The actual smoke detector that we had above also was able to find the other target. So now that this is done, what we can do, and typically how I do this, is I will rename this. And this is an important uh, step. If you don't do this, it's still going to work, but it might have a little bit of a trouble uh, merging. So we'll call this site control after, as far as the name of the actual cluster. I'll hit save, and we'll save this registered to control new. Hit enter. Now we're finished, which means now if I hit the project and actually close this guy and I open the old project, which is the site control no survey. And just to view it right now, you see that th this is what the original project looks like. We don't have that extra room there. What I'll do again, I'll actually go ahead and rename this and call this site control no survey that's just doesn't have to be exactly this but you know what i mean so what we can do is now i'll import import the whole project from before so we'll go site control after hit open and you'll notice what happens so it brings in site control after and site control before or well no survey both of these into the project and I do not even have to run a registration between these two because if I now view project they are inheriting the same space by virtue of using the same targets on here so uh, project number two I guess is what we're looking over here and this is project number one which uh, was the origin of our coordinate system now if you want to you can put this into a whole new cluster and call it combined or something and we will take these two and just move them in here and what we can do instead of actually running any registration we'll just um, mark this as manually finished meaning we actually have a registration or a scan manager over here I'll lock it that way scene is not going to try to disband this at all I will not have uh, results here as far as running a registration it's just inheriting the actual accuracy of the scan managers and the uh, values that were in these uh, individual scans but uh, now you can see that this is a project from one day this is a project from another day all based on the same control that was done uh, at a previous point so if you were to proceed to actually export this as an RCP you'll have to save before you do anything so let's combine projects but if you now create an RCP from this it will now have both projects with the same coordinate system needless to say you do not even have to mm, take this step if you're confident that you exported your references or your um, objects from the original which means uh, this project successfully and then created a brand new project which inherits these coordinates it's just a matter of exporting this guy in its own state and then exporting that guy in its own state and just opening them up in recap or any other program and because they are inheriting the same space they should open up in the same same place just like you see this so hopefully this was a little bit of, I know uh, maybe a little bit complicated video but it's a useful one to have if you're trying to combine two, three, or multiple days a month that were scanned at uh, different times and 
you know, uh, worry about being able to actually combine everything together. Most important thing here is definitely have at least three targets. Yes, you can do this target less way, of course, but this video was about uh, using targets. All right. If you have any questions and comments, leave them below.